friends hello welcome back we are in the resign phase. we just ended the draft right we just ended the draft i think it was a good draft i believe we'll take a look here real quick once again kind of get a refreshing here i don't quite remember it was about what was it a week ago now close to a week we did our last ottawa sanders franchise but it's time this team's ready to start winning some games i think uh, they'd be under unsigned, right? I don't think we signed them yet. We'll take a look now. We didn't. Okay, so let's take a look. Yeah, we got a friend. I knew there was some beauties. A franchise in Costison. 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 It's Costison, right? Costison. 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 It's, he's Russian, I believe, right? Russian, Russian, Russian. I, I don't know if that's a Russian flag or a different one. I think that's right. Yeah, it's Russian. Okay, perfect. Is it Russia? I, I want to say Italy, but that ain't right. There's they, they have the white, blue, red the flags just like that, but the stripes are in different spots. That's why I get it mixed up sometimes. I apologize. You know what's funny is the uh, Europeans that are watching so laugh at Canadians will probably laugh at me too. You guys have done it before. Or it's like, how do you not know that? We, we, we wasn't really a flag thing in school. We didn't really have to understand outside of Canada. You know, Canada and Mexico and the States would have really learned any of it. But uh, Greb, Greb, Greb is a 65. Modine's looking nice at that minor elite there on defense. So we had a couple guys, it looks like. An elite down there at 56 as well in Simpson. But it's become close to where we start another elite down there in Gianta. But it's become close to where we start considering when or if we start to trade any of these guys and try to make that push. We try to trade some of these younger guys that have a little trade value. We're gonna go ahead and offer these guys up some contracts real quick. Actually, we're only gonna send a couple of them because we do have three years for some of these guys and we have, what, 50 contracts under deal right now. So we'll wait on a couple of these guys because I guess we just can, right? Like Simpson would be a fun one. You wait and you get that entry level deal for three more years there, he's gonna not play here anyway. Yeah, so we'll leave it like that, I guess, for now. But um, Apologies if you can hear the air conditioner. I don't know if you can't hear that. I don't think the mic picks it up, which is kind of a bonus, unless you're really listening for it. You probably can. But it is like 6,095 degrees outside. It's 90s. 90s like every single day for like the next two weeks, which is like hot, like hot, hot for um, our area because it's like super humid in Ohio too. So it's like a great time. It ain't bad. It's just, you know, hot up here. But um, 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 um what was we going to look for? Progress reports. Where do you took care of that again? I don't know if you guys watched the end of the episode. I, you know, an hour is a long time. An hour is a long time to be here. So I understand if you're not. So we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll quickly skim over all this. We already, like I said, we was already at it, but we'll skim over real quick. But I'm again, see, this is where I'd like to be able to, uh, I'd like to be able to look at the lines i i always forget who we got can we sign to an extension oh we can what does lafreniere want from a contract man perfetti's an 88 also how did i almost miss that good for you perfetti good for you oh baby how what are you doing up this is going to be ugly let's see what these guys want for money offer contract extension you're talking nine million a year whoo nine million so i want you for eight years though nine million we got so much cap space 9.4 i who am i can that's a steal for law front here i'm over here panicking about it we'll send it offer that extension i'm going to discuss the extension okay so we have him and then i think you got to keep perfetti right perfetti is let's take a look at these stats here real quick 81 points last season. he said uh completely tear the cover off the puck type of year plus 21 207 shots how did he do in a face-off circle? We've seen some progression there. We've seen a little bit. Oh, yeah, 53%. He's not killing it since he's been here. How's the stats looking for Perfetti? If you look at that. He's at an 82 on the draws, 89 defensive awareness. The shot is, oh, my goodness. He has a 96 on the shot power already. Holy smokes. That's not even fair. 96. This guy's going to be nasty for a long time. At an 88, yeah. Take the money. How much do you want, Perfetti? How much do you want? Same as Lafreniere. They, they don't want as long, though. See, I'm going to... I guess we should have bumped his contract up a smidge. Now I'm going to forget what Lafreniere wanted. So we'll bump it up a smidge there. Man, I don't know how many of these guys are going to be able to afford. This is where things are going to get difficult. Tyler DeFoley. Let's see what Holtz wants. Holtz wants 7.9. This is where it gets interesting. How many of these guys do we keep? Holtz... Uh, he's decent defensively doesn't want face offs doesn't matter he's a winger 83 83 in the passing so the passing isn't there heck the shot ain't even that great 90 86 by 93 man 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 he's gonna be an rfa next season he's gonna keep growing he doesn't want an extension what a punk that's right called him a punk what are you gonna do hold out pal that's not a good idea 
man doesn't want an extension. This guy. This guy don't want an extension. The Foley, we have Byfield who wants an extension. Who is currently going to be an RFA. How's he looking? 27 goals, 44 assists. Man, we have ourselves a challenge trying to sign these guys. 87 and draws, 86. He's not the most defensive guy. He's a power forward, 89, 89 there. The shot is 86, 80, 94. What's he want though at 85 overall? That's a big question. He wants 8 million. Man, we are in a predicament. I'd rather have Holtz. Holtz has the better numbers at that point. Hagman. How's Hagman looking? We can't sign him for a while. He's going to be a filthy one to try to sign there. I think that's it. That's our guys that need signed. You have Felino. Yeah, we are in this. Uh, we're, we're starting to see this difficulty or situation start to appear here. Marco Ross is a guy I'd like to have locked down for a while. How's he look? 86, 86, 87, 82. He's not got the greatest of stats, though. In all fairness, 18 by 31. I like to think he's going to continue to progress here, though, if we can. What's he want for money? What do you want? By, oh, million for he wants a short term deal. We're going to chance on that one, but Rossi, man, that's actually something we better be careful with. We're going to go six years. He's still, he's got top six potential. See, that's the problem. So I see why he wants less, but if we can lock a guy like him down at a cheap contract for even five at, at 1.2, what's the worst that can happen? I, I think it's a steal of a deal there. He's going to continue to progress. I don't think he's going to take that though. We're trying to lock these guys down. It shouldn't take me too long to decide about your extension offer. you talk to you in a bit. Okay, perfect. A Savoie is not under deal. We have Drysdale. Drysdale is that that 78. He should be somebody that's kind of cheap. And I think he's going to continue to grow here for us. How's he looking? 82, 83, 83. Passing is great. This guy is a stud on offense. He's got to work there. I think we had him play. Can I not check out the stats from this screen? No? Okay, cool. Oh, there it is. Right there. So I played last season. We had him in the um, AHL a little bit. So he has three goals or not three goals. Why are we so far over here? He was 73 points over there last season in Erie. 33 there, minus 210, solid. That was that tank season he played up here. So maybe he doesn't want much. Come on, what do you want here, Drysdale? Two. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Count me in. Oh, he's got that top four potential, though. That'll work, though. That'll work at top four potential, even where to go five years. I might even go six. We're banking on these guys being good for a while. But they're under friendly contracts, though, I think. You know, 2.6 for a defenseman. How can you possibly go wrong with that? I don't think they're going to take these. We're going to see what they think here. We're going to give it a couple of days and see if they're like, ah, no. Which might be what happens. How's the goaltenders looking? We've got goalie under control, goalie under control. A few more years there. Man, it's going to be tough on these RFAs. So we got to get Holtz. Holtz and Byfield. And if you wait another year, you're going to think they're going to be better, right? That's the problem man who else do we have who else do we have to concern be concerned about so we have hagman he's got to get signed hagman there's no questions about it we have to find room for hagman he's under contract for three more years that's beautiful that is freaking beautiful Xing time same story he's under contract for a couple more years how's he look from a stat perspective here uh face offs ain't there passing no shots not there shots the accuracy is better than that power there for that guy He's got time though. We got time to think about him. We're gonna go by age. Age is probably easier here, right? Yeah, there we go. Age. So we have Savoie is gonna want paid down the road. We no questions asked about it. We have to make room for Costison. But at the end of the day, we can always trade guys, right? I mean, we can trade these guys that are really good players down the road. Um, Byfield's a guy. You know, if that's the route we have to go to make cap space. I mean, nobody's gonna turn down a guy like Byfield. I don't think. So let's let's offer him a contract here. What's Byfield want? A lot, a ridiculously high amount of money. He's gonna have to be traded down the road, no questions about it. But we'll send him the dough. Eight million year. No, we're not gonna send him the dough. Not at eight million. Not at eight million. Will he go down once his RFA deal comes? Maybe. Who knows? All for a contract extension. Yeah, I like the Holtz deal though. Seven point nine and eighty six. That's better. That is more team friendly here. Can we get him in seven years? We'll take a look here. There we go. There's our contract extensions. We'll see what these guys think. We tried to stretch literally every single one of these guys offers longer than they wanted, which means they might say, hey, forget about you. That ain't happening. But we can hope. We can hope for the best here. Come on, Lafreniere. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Uh, the following coaches have expiring contracts on your team. Resign coach, NHL associate coach. Yeah, we'll resign him real quick. I ain't concerned about it. He can be here. Oh, no, he can't see on there. So we'll take a look at... We'll leave him there for now. He's a C. If we can improve that, that'd be nice. Head coach, head coach. We're missing coaches, right? Yeah, we're missing two. We're missing two goalie coaches. Anyway, let's keep going. Uh, scouts with expiring contracts. Now, those are guys uh, we want to make sure are signed here real quick. So make sure these guys are taken care of. Who are they? 
Yeah, we'll do this real quick. All right, that's taken care of. Start of the resign phase. Okay. Drysdale. It was an easy decision and contract renewed. Perfect. Oh, yeah, that's big. Drysdale is going to be a big one, I think, there. We got him under a $2 million deal. There's nothing cheap about defensemen down the road. They hit that 83, 84. They all want three, four, five million a year. So to lock him down for seven, that's big. Rossi. Although I'm interested in principal and extension, I'm going to reject this offer at this time. You must be joking if you think I'm going to extend my contract because that's what you're offering me. See, now this would be where it's nice that they showed us what our offer was. Marco Rossi says no, which is interesting because he was a lower overall. Perfetti was an easy decision. Yeah, buddy. See ya, Perfetti. Welcome back. Big deal. Lafron, you know. No, La no, no, Alex, 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 Alex. Can I call you Alex? Please, we're friends, right? First name basis, Mr. Mr. Lafreniere. Wait, so once you what? That's actually a thing, EA. Why? That's got to be a glitch. All these guys were under contract. Or were they not under contract and they okay maybe that's what it was i thought they was under contract um i'm new sorry i'm i'm new to the game fellas it's my first time we see yeah he played three four years I don't, I don't understand why it was like that then okay so we have to offer this guy money we have to offer all these guys money okay so we're gonna up it, it it's freaking lafreniere man he's getting what he wants he wants nine point he's asking 9.4 we're gonna go 9.725 oh no i wanted to go seven years big mistake whoops Big mistake. You can you can reject that too if you want. Holtz, 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 Holtz. He didn't like what we offered him. He wanted 7.725 in a short deal. And we tried to get him for a long-term deal. I think that was the problem there, right? I don't remember how much we offered him. We're going to try 7. Point. Did his asking price go down? Because 7.9. Come on, EA. Can you please just let us see those? Byfield rejected? I thought Byfield took it. No, it was Perfetti that took it. Perfetti's the only guy we got locked down right now. We got to sign all these guys, period. Okay, Byfield won six now. See, they changed it. They changed it once we got to this point for some reason. I don't understand. Whatever. Here you go, Byfield. I'll give you six million a year. I'll give you six for seven years. There you go. There you go. Have a nice day. I have a feeling it's because... Oh, no! No, I don't want to buy this player. Holy smokes. I want to extend him, EA. Jeez. That would have been something. That would have been something. Who's our other offer? Marco Rossi. So Rossi wanted... See, now he only wants... <laughs> Uh poor Rossi. Now he can only have 900k. I guess I should have just waited to the RFA. I, that was the problem there. These guys wanted lower contracts once we got to that point. Bob Dylan, how's he looking? He wants um again an entry level deal. I, I I don't really care how much you want. If it's under a million, you can have it. And that's the interesting thing with these guys. Pair, same story. Here you go. Three years. Hopefully you take that. So let's go back. Let's go back to sim up a couple more days and see what the fellows are thinking here. Tyler Defoe is a UFA. We can't let him go too long, but we have to see where we're at from a cap perspective here. Goalies, goalies, goalies. We're good there. Starter in Ranta and Tynan. Okay, so hopefully they take that dough. Hopefully. We changed our offer. I think we offered it. Honestly, I think we have to pay them less. We paid them less once we got into the RFA season. We'll see if they take it, though. We'll see if they bite. Bartovac, oh, that, that's not who I'm looking for. Rossi, I, it was an easy decision. Yeah, it was, Rossi. Yeah, it was. Thanks for taking that cheaper contract, pal. I appreciate that. Appreciate it, buddy. Byfield, easy decision. I think you got paid less too. Pair, thank you. Lafreniere, stop it. I want to test free agency market this offseason. Maybe more cash can pursue. No, actually, you're you're not. You're an RFA Lafreniere. You're you're not testing free agency. I hate to break that to you. You won't be doing that. No, that that's not gonna happen. I would love for a team to offer you a contract though. Let me tell you what. I'll take the four first round draft picks. That'd be fantastic. Uh, hold same story. Dylan says no. These guys are being greedy. Here we go. We're going to try it again. We're offering Lafreniere 10 million a year. All but worth it. Does he take it? Happy to accept it. Stop it. You stop it right now, coaches. You stop it right now. There's another accept. That's for a, a scout, I should say. Not a coach. Another scout there. He's in us. Another scout there. Come on. It's another scout or a coach. Stop it. You're not testing the free agency market. Uh, they keep saying no. They keep saying no. We keep upping the offer. I don't think Colts wants to be here. He really doesn't. And that sucks because you can't trade RFAs, right? Can you not trade them unless they're under contract? 
The contract is so broken in this because Dylan can't get more than this. Like, you literally can't sign him for over 900k and he wants two years 700k and he's saying no. But he's got to stay here. He ain't really got an option. You want to see something funny? You guys want to see You want to see something laughable, fellas? Look at this. Look at this contract this guy wants. Look at this. This guy wants 8.075 million. Good joke to Foley. Good joke, buddy. We should have traded you. What were we thinking? We should have traded to Foley at the, uh, the trade deadline. I would never have guessed that guy thought he was getting 8 million when he hit the free agent market. This guy, okay, come on, Lafreniere. What we did, rejected it. He's not doing it. We gave him 10 million in seven years, the exact length he wanted, maybe more cash is what he wants. I was an easy decision. So Holtz stayed. We lowered Holtz's contract three years, gave him what he wanted, and we're not getting Bennett, Bennett Dillon. This game's literally not going to allow us to because we don't have a choice. We have to sign him because he's an AHLer and he's under that contract. And he's not going to take it. I got to love the way the contracts work in this game. So the Lafreniere contract battle will continue. We're going to say seven years. We're going to say 10.2. You know, it's crazy. He's elite, but he's already an 88. So anyway, because we're going to say 10.25. 10.25. And how are we looking here from cap space? We still have 36 million cap space. Other guys need signed as well. We're going to be pressed against the cap real quickly here, it looks like. But you know what? We expected it. We expected it. We'll move some guys if we have to. Uh, Kastelanik, you can go ahead and take your money here. There you go. Have fun. You same story. One year's all this guy wants. We're giving him three because I just wish you would stay longer so I don't have to keep resigning, guys. That's the goal there. But here we go. We'll take a look one last time. Lafreniere, I don't know what to say. Well, you can't leave. Imagine this guy literally does not want to stay with us. Why is the contract so expensive in this game? That's my question. It was an easy decision. Thank you, Lafreniere. 10.25, though. I mean, in all honesty, that's still quite the deal for this guy. He's a freaking stud. Easy decision there. Jonas doesn't want to play. That's cool. And Dylan didn't answer, right? Did Dylan ignore us again? What happened to Dylan? Uh, end of resign phase. Oh, did, did we not offer Dylan another contract? Why did we not get a Dylan answer there? So we have our boys under contract. Let's take a look at this contract situation now for this team. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Dylan, 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 Dylan. He must have signed. I don't see him there. He is right there. No, he didn't sign. He didn't answer. He doesn't want an extension. He doesn't have a choice. He really doesn't. I don't think we ever um got him under contract, really, to be fair. So here's what we have to work with. We don't have to keep Toffoli. We have 27 point some mil in cab space here. Toffoli's gone. We got six millionaire byfield. I think that's pretty fair. It's gonna the problem is we're not gonna be able to keep all four of these guys and a defenseman. Pearson's getting four million this year, so he's gonna come off the book soon. We signed him strictly for the reason of taking up some cap space, so that's good. Nick Felino is an 82 at 35. What kind of money does Felino want? He wants 1.65. That's good, Felino. You can take that. We'll offer you the one-year deal there. Who else has got to go? We're gonna take a look at Alexiak. Alexiak for now again we can always trade these guys if they don't want much and he wants two million a year why do you want so much Alexiak you're 30 years old is that why here you go take the money I hope you wanted that I hope he was interested there drop 26 he's a little bit younger he wants two million a year for a year you might have to sign him that anyway again we have to keep these bottom guys intact here here's your year we'll take a look at free agency the free agency market's about to open up here I wish you could qualify this guy offer contract release few contract whatever we should get some compensation. Do they do that still? When they leave you, do you get compensation in this game? I feel like they don't. That might not even be an NHL thing. I feel like there was some sort of compensation time. You have to wait till they're UFA and there's no compensation, I guess, period. It's just an RFA thing. Could be that. Okay, so let's take a look here. It's free agency time. We will not take a look at the lines because this is NHL 20. We do not do that here. That is not a thing. Okay, it was an easy decision. Thank you, Felino. Uh, Alexiak, you're, uh, you, you're, you're getting overpaid, but sweet. Uh, although I am interested in principal to extension, I'm all going to get your dollar offer here and drop. Okay, that was very nice of you. Bob Dylan, you're just not going to play. I mean, that's all there really is to it, Dylankins. I just gave you the best offer you could possibly get. Like, literally. Like, he really couldn't have gotten a better deal because it maxed out there. I'm sorry you think you're worth more than that for playing in the AHL, pal. I don't know what to tell you. We're going to have to qualify him real quick. Make sure he's under contract here. Oh, okay, we're not. Sweet. Okay, cool. Yay. Wait, is that not a thing? Unsigned? Yeah, he should be an RFA, right? Where's my RFAs? No. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter, I guess. I mean, uh, they still give you the comp, right? No matter what, if they take the RFA, we just ain't matching their offers all qualifying does. So Lafreniere, we need a left wing. We have two left wings in Pearson, Lafreniere, 
and as far as the right wings are concerned we have four of those taken care of we could use a fourth line right wing it looks like for some depth there as far as the defense we have hagman drysdale we do need a defenseman because alexiak left us there so we'll see what's out there in that department and i'll take a look what's in the system as well as always it looks like our best defenseman right now it, oh 40 overall decent is a 75 year old or 75 overall carl osner so he might have to play if he's here we have right wing in varlamov left wing decent still growing center young still growing there got some work to be done so let's take a look at free agency here what do we say we needed a winger a right winger preferably i think we said right right wing or is it left it might have been left wing Winger's a winger, though. So let's see what we got out here. Wow. Overall first pick. That's beautiful. Pasta at Huberdo. Besser, Druin, Larkin. Man, there's some guys out here. Vasa, Linen. Hey, that's the guy that um, Boston always tries to pawn off on teams. You got all up to an 87 overall. That's not a bad trade piece right there. Uh, Opelat, Goss, Despair, Latang. These guys don't want to get paid. Bergeron wants $6 million a year. These guys want some money. No way are we paying you guys this much. We might go into the trade department instead. That is some dough to be dishing out. It's only for a year for some of these guys, I guess. For us, we're just waiting for the guys to progress. So I guess that ain't a big deal there. Uh, we're looking at they're not. They're not once even he wants $4 million a year. All right, so we're going to look at... We're going to look at Radulov, I think, here. We're trying to find guys that don't want long-term deals. Two years, one year... We don't want to get tied up in a cap situation here when we have all these younger guys assigned. Hornquist wants $2 million a year. He's more of a power forward. I like that. All penalty killing fourth line. I like Hornquist better here. 85, 85 there. Passing is, again, the stats are mass 16 by 11, but he can do it. We need to get done here for a fourth liner at $2 million a year. So we'll offer Hornquist that deal. We'll offer him a little bit more to make sure he takes it. Again, one year is not a big deal. One year is not a big deal at all. So we'll go Hornquist. And then I do like Barbashev still here. 13 goals, 25 assists, uh, 38 points. And again, minimal time played here. We'll take a look at the stats overall here. And uh, he was more of a goal scorer the year before than this, clearly. But um, as far as the defense is concerned, he was 42 hits, 19 block shots, 41 giveaways, 27 takeaways. So pretty similar to what he's seen previously there. But an 83 overall scoring guy. The thing is, I don't think he fits on our team anywhere. Yeah, that is a difficult problem there. Montour, he fits on defensive pairings. That might be a guy we target instead. The thing is, he wants three years. And that is something I'm not really interested in there is three years. But we could we could try loading the front end here. Again, if we have to trade these guys, I guess. I mean, that's always an option. We might, we might try $5 million for two years on Montour here and try to front load that a little bit. See if he takes that deal there. No, no, no. Again, Barbashev wants one year. Furlan wants one year. How's Furlan looking? Furlan's a grinder. I like seeing that. Bottom forward line three. That's what we're looking for as well. 22 goals, 19 assists. Had a good season. We'll send some money. Furlan's way. He wants 3.4 million. Why does it seem like these contracts are so high? Again, we'll offer him more because, again, why not? Why not? That's one year. We've got the cap space to do it. So we'll get Furland in there. The 83 there and Furlikins. And uh, Vertan and Kalorn. We do need a defenseman still, right? We have Hornquist, we have Furland. No, we have Montour. We have that contract on Montour. And it'd be nice if we could pick up some guys to help out this defense, though. Offensive defenseman is something we do not need. Let's look at defense. The defense is weak on this team. So if we could pick up one more defenseman, Latang. Look at him. 85 overall still somehow. How's Latang looking? 36 years old. 35? Not 36. 36 years old. We don't want him. We ain't paying Gosses There's no way that's happening. Actually, seven million a year, but we can't. We made a rule: no, no, no young guys that have a high potential here. With um, the overall being decent, D'Angelo still. I don't know. I, I D'Angelo could be a better guy to fit our scheme. That'd be great. How about Jake Gardner? I do not want to pay you four years though, Guardikins. Uh, they're not. That could be something. Eric Johnson. He wants two years at thirty-five. How's he look as a scheme fit? We don't know. We don't have one. He is a two-way defender. Two-way defender. So he might be able to slide in there fine. I do like Dermot. All defensive pairings he does fit as well. But Dermot wants one year 80. Oh, no, it's three years. What is this? Team's interested. One. Oh, okay. So he wants three years. 4.8. That is some ridiculous money. How are you going to think you're worth 4.8 million and 82 overall, dude? Explain that one to me. I might do two years. And I'm overpaying at this by a mile. By a mile. You are 22, maybe, or 26. Maybe that's the reason. We're going to go 4.3 and is that it we'll see where that puts us we'll sim up a day or two it's gonna be tight i think here i am concerned about that i definitely want to see this team again if we can't get anything here i think what we look at 
is we have trade pieces out the rear end. We just trade for a player if we want to go down that route. Sim up the game at one more day. Hopefully these guys ain't taking contracts ain't ours. I hate how it takes this long. It's making me nervous. Extremely happy. Welcome on tour. All right, perfect. It was a generous offer. You're not lying. Uh, Hornquist, welcome. They're my, he's going to the blues. Huh? Mail you later, pal. Berlin, welcome to the team. All right, so that's what we're looking at here. We picked up three players in free agency. Big additions there. Big additions, again, pending for agent staff. We will look at what we have from a contract perspective here. We have centers, we have Perfetti, Bifold, Shintime, and Rossi. That is what we are more than happy to have there. Uh, Savoie is going to have to go down to the age. Uh, Savoie is going to be a guy that might have to play up here, huh? Because he can't progress anymore. You guys said 78 is the highest you can progress in the HL. Is that actually a thing? I can't believe that's a thing. So he might actually have to play this season. So we'll leave that as is. The left wings we have. Yeah, we're looking good on left wing. Right wing, better. Better, I like that. Definitely could use a better, you know, top six guy, but we'll live with it. Defense, 84. Montour, 83. The oh, defense still needs work. That is the problem here. We have some young defensemen. Miners got top four de defensemen potential. If we can get these guys to um, mesh together, though, it wouldn't be too bad. We have offense, offense. We have so many offensive defensemen. We need to pick up a defensive defenseman just for insurance purposes to see if we can put them with one of these guys and see how that goes. So we'll see if there's a defensive defenseman in free agency. If there's not, again, I mean, we can go down the uh, the trade route if we really have to. So we'll go defense. Can we try type two-way? No, we can't apparently. Okay, so we just filter this, I guess, this way. Uh, top four, top four. Where is my two-way defenseman? That's what we're looking for. Two-way, two-way. Defensive, offense, defense, offense. Offense. Everybody's offensive out here. There's some defenses. So what do we got here? You want two years? Dumoulin. Dumoulin, what kind of money you're looking for is two years. Dumoulin and Merle. So we have Dumoulin fits everywhere. Merle fits everywhere. So that's nice that they fit anywhere they need to be. What's the contracts these guys are looking for? We're talking 2 million and 2.6. So about the same there. What's the age? It's the same age. That makes sense. Merle was A plus zero to A14 minutes. Dumoulin looked like he had a better season last season. So we'll go after Doomies here. Their team's interested. I do not see any interested. So we might even be able to get him a little cheaper here. Or we'll offer him, what does he want? 2.8 million. We might offer this guy. We might try to keep Dumoulin for a couple of years at 31. We'll offer him 2.7. Believe it like that. We'll actually offer both of these guys. They both fit here. Why not? And we'll offer you 2.5. Yeah, let's go 2.5. 2.5. Again, nobody's interested in him. Hopefully, we're not biting ourselves in a foot here. We'll live and learn if that's the case. But if nobody's interested in him, you'd think they'd want to take that money if they could. I See, what I don't like is I wish they would just tell you right away we rejected your offer. And then we can offer you again. But see, the last time it said, nope, I'm going to go here instead. And that killed us. That stung, stung, shot us right in the foot. Extremely happy. Perfect. Merrill's going to Calgary. But we got Dumoulin. So we picked up Dumoulin, a little insurance on defense there. Let's go ahead and I guess sim up to the regular season now. I think we'll be good to go here. Unless we try to get, again, one more defenseman for insurance there. I want to try to win this season. This is the season for winning, but we might trade some players if that's the case. Because we're going to eventually have to do that. We can't afford all these guys. Maybe we look into the trade market. You know what? We're going to go one more. One more defenseman. One more. We, we, we want to win. If we want to win, we want to win. John Moore, what do you want, buddy? Defensive defenseman. 4-4 four, four plus 6. Uh, 14 minutes a night. 86, 88, 84. Not bad. And then CC is a two-way. I thought I seen another defensive defenseman in there. Where was he? Right there. Four-board. Uh, better. Those, those stats do look better on four-board there. Uh, he fits everywhere, it looks like, according to our pro scout. He wants three years. That's the problem there. More would rather he's got a team interested though, and four board doesn't. So we might want to get four board here for two seasons. Two seasons, two point four million for him. There you go. We'll see if he takes that. If he doesn't, we will go ahead and sim up to the uh preseason here. And we're gonna look at what these lines are gonna be cooking this season for this team. Well, actually, as I say, actually, we need to sign a few more guys, but everything else will be fillers if we need them. So let's see if he takes this money. He's gonna want three or four days to think about it. As always, extremely happy. All right, perfect. All right, we're gonna get to the preseason then. All right, we are here, and Byfield has the C. I am sorry to hear that, Lafreniere, but Byfield has the C. How does that make you feel? We're going to leave it there. We're going to let Byfield have it. He was easy to deal with. Perform roster moves and assign captains. We've got the captains done. Let's take a look here. All right, so we have Perfetti, Holtz, and Lafreniere on that first line. Was that who we had on the first line last season? No, who changed? I thought we had a power forward. Where's Byfield? 
Oh, third line in it. Yeah, look at Shane time. He progressed to the 85 over the offseason there. I think it was Byfield right in that first line, right? It was Byfield. That's not going to do it, really. Who's, who else did not belong up here? Oh, Holtz doesn't like being up on that first line. That's what it was. So we have Byfield there. Who was playing on that first line? Now, that's the question. I forget who we had up there now. It might have been Toffoli. Hornquist is a power forward. We'll see if we can find... What do we need? We have Byfield is a power forward. We, have, we need a sniper on that first line. Holtz is the man, but he doesn't want to be there. So is there any other snipers on this team? What do you know? Once again, we are on the problem of not having a sniper. We'll get back to that here in a bit. So we have Hagman, Montour in that first line. Two-way, two-way. That is what it is. Forber and yeah, two defensive defensemen. We don't want that. Drysdale. That's who we'd like to put there, I think. Right? Will that work with either one of them? It looks like it will. Who are we missing? I thought we had one other younger guy somewhere around here. And it was not Weber. That is for sure. Is he scratched? Yeah, Modine. We ain't going to bench Modine. He's definitely got to play here. That's going to plus one that line. Modine being the 18. Where does he want to play? Minor top two defensemen. So he wants to be in the minors. But again, 78. He's got to play up here. So we'll put Modine there. Forber, Hagman. Again, the defense still needs work. It needs some work. I, I'm thinking we might try to trade for somebody. We're getting to that point where we can't afford everybody. For Fetty. And we're going to get this straightened out the best we can here real quick. I'm sure you guys are going to watch us do this forever. All right. So what we're learning here is we have an abundance of playmakers on this team we're looking at the lineups here i mean the whole first line we just put in some wall there just because he was a scratch at the moment playmaker oh man is he a nasty playmaker 90 passing 91 shot or puck control there he's somebody i think we got to keep for a playmaker that's a true playmaker profetti 93 lafreniere 88 and he goes into what the second line ching time again 85 83 i don't really like his playmaking stats i'll be honest there he's just his defensive awareness has his overall pretty boosted up there up to that 85 he might be the trade piece he's got one year left at 1.61 million he's got to be there's got to be a guy that's got to go let's see how he's played this season let's see or last season 11 goals 32 assists minus 10 to so 43 points 34 points how many minutes did he play i think he was third line yeah he's twice he's putting up points playing on the third line like that. that's ridiculous so he was killing it even doing that but you, you gotta you gotta cut somewhere Looking at them stats. Looking at them stats. I'm thinking that might be the one. Byfield going nowhere at that power forward. Holtz has to stay our only sniper. That's what we need here is a sniper. Uh, Costas, Costasin, he wants to play on the fourth line. We got him on a third, giving him some extra minutes there. That is a guy we did not change. I knew there was somebody. We got to throw him in on a power play. Make sure we do that here real quick. And then the D or the third line. Again, Rossi, same story. Rossi could be a guy we always trade as well. We'll see what Rossi's trade value is. I imagine at the top six, it's not much. And I like having a guy like Rossi on this team because we ain't going to be able to keep every elite player, right? Rossi can, you know, progress to 80, 81 or something. And he's under contract for three more years. Maybe he can help us there. And again, we definitely need a defensive defenseman. And again, maybe Drysdale is the guy we move there. He, he's, he doesn't fit. He doesn't fit. And neither does Hagman, unfortunately. And that's what that's what hurts with these scheme fits for these defense. But we'll see what we can do. They, they don't fit the younger guys. They don't in general. All a bunch of pinch kind of guys. We'll see what we can do. We're going to look for a defensive defenseman. And we're definitely going to look for a sniper. And we can go pretty big here, I think. Uh, we're done. We're going to take a look at the trade value of these guys real quick. We should be able to, like I said, we should be able to go pretty big. We should have the room to squeak in a solid player here. We'll take a look at what we have. The question is, is there going to be a team willing to make that trade with us this season? That is it. Man, look at those trade values. Holy smokes. I think we got some trade value for these guys. Lafreniere, Perfetti, Kostisin, Kostisin. I'm calling him Kostisin. Hagman Holtz holds a nice trade value. We can't trade him. So, Vua, same story. Nice trade value. But he looks beautiful with them stats. But I feel decent. Man, where is... Man, they're going to... No, they're not. They, they, don't do, they did Xing time dirty. That low, that low elite does it, I guess. Because he's an 85 and we're on 21. I thought for sure he'd have better trade value than that. That's tough. That is some tough work there. He fits so well with every line, too. Like, look at that chemistry on his second line. That is the one thing I like about him there. Clark has to say he's a defenseman. Modine has to say the defenseman. Who else can we go? Furland. Furland could leave. He's got some trade value there. Uh, Kostopoulos, same story. He's 19. He's a defenseman, though. We've got to worry about him coming up soon. 78 overall right now. Montour. Levo. Levo, I thought, would have better trade value than he's a top six guy. Rossi is, you know, not a lot of trade value either. Drysdale's not holding a lot of trade value. That kind of hurts seeing Drysdale's trade value that low. I was hoping maybe he'd be the guy, but he's just kind of mediocrely in the middle there. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go, the trade. You see this? You see this one? Patrick Line. Look at these stats. Look at this. 
99 accuracy, 95 power, 98 accuracy. Imagine what this guy can do with Lafreniere and Byfield. Ridiculous things. And they're saying he fits on the first line. 9.65 million a year, three years, and we have to move a big name. Again, we couldn't move Shing I was really hoping that'd be the guy. We're looking, and I, I can't believe I'm saying this because we're, 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 we're over here moving one guy. We need a playmate. We need a sniper, and we're moving a sniper, right? But I think we got to do it. I think that's the right choice here. I think the right choice. And now, hear me out. Here's why this is the right choice chemistry. He doesn't fit anywhere. Holtz, he struggles on every line. And more importantly, 84 passing, 84 puck control. He's 21. His his accuracy ain't anywhere close to line A's. It's at 80 and 86. And granted, it could get better. It could. Last season, 19 goals. Season before, 32. Season before that, 17. Now, 17, you can't look at that. That's a bad season. But he put the 32 by 49 that season. He didn't play as much as the season before. But the thing is, we don't expect that to change. He can't play on the first line. We're looking for the plus three on that first line. He can't do it. He literally cannot do it. Ah, and the contracts are similar. We're trading for age here. It's stinging a lot to think about. Because we're going to have to make another trade for another sniper. One that's a little bit of a low overall. But look at this straight up. Oh, man. That is, that's, that's close. We might not have to give up anything else. And we can make this happen. What a blockbuster it would be. But how do you turn down? Patrick Line is the best goal scorer in this league. He's going to be the best goal scorer for another five, six years. And we can't, I don't know. I, I, we're going to see what they think here. We're going to throw in a second and third just to see. Draw this up. I'm so nervous to scare rid of a player, but he's 21. I, you look, the defensive awareness is high. The stick checking is high. The offensive awareness is 95. Like we're seeing the areas and we're not seeing the growth in the passing, which concerns me. And I think the accuracy could certainly be better. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're gonna do it. Second and a third. We gotta make sure we're not getting not enough. We gotta make sure we're getting enough. We're gonna throw in a first round draft pick. A first for Patrick Line and Alexander Holtz Winnipeg. Do we hit it? Do we hit the button? Do we hit the button? We're hitting it. Trade rejected. I question whether you looked at our trade block. Winnipeg is totally unwilling to do what you're asking unless you really make it worth it for us. I'm gonna try to spin handle a first round draft pick out of Winnipeg here. Nah, they're not doing it. Okay, so we'll drop it. It's fine. We just did not want to get caught with our pants down here getting, you know, not as much as we could be. So trade rejected. When if you just had the great thing to go to trade block, you better trade block things one up, but the value on the table is far off. Okay, so we'll drop the second for the third. Trade rejected. Your trade block needs to needs, but we're still far off. We'll drop the third. Holtz. Okay, totally unwilling to part ways with what you're asking requesting for us. Please consult our trade block in the future. Okay. All right, so we're at an even trade. And Winnipeg is still saying no bueno. Now, the thing is, we don't really care about our later picks. We'll offer a fourth and a fifth. Trade is still a thing called a trade block, so we're still off. We'll add a six. We're far off, so I imagine they're just going to laugh at us when we add on that. Six. Oh! Okay, then. I, I thought you was totally unwilling. A six-round draft pick made you totally willing. Okay, Patrick Line. Oh, baby. Patrick Line. Oh, man. Patrick Line is an Ottawa Senator. And all I can say is I hope he fits where we put him. See, we're still hurting ourselves because we still have these playmakers out the rear end. Like, so what, but how do you look at this guy's passing? Look at Rafetti's passing. It, it, the thing is, I've almost considered moving Lafreniere, which sounds crazy. What do you guys think about that? We won't go far into this season. We will not go far into this season. I want to hear, I want to hear who we should be trading out of these playmakers. There's so many of them. Is, Liney's not a left winger. Where's Line? Yo, EA, EA. If you put line A, if you put line A in the AHL, like a bunch of trolls, let me tell you what, you better hope waivers ain't on. Back to lines. What am I missing? Who's missing here? Special teams. I hit swap in every line. Did you not listen? Apparently not, EA. Okay, then. Sweet. All right, here we go. Here we go. We have good friend line A. Apparently, Felino on a second line gets the job done. Line A, here we What do you got first line A? Oh, yeah. If it's on a first line, beautiful. You're careful. That's what we needed. We needed that man that could go to the first line because now what we can do is we can put Byfield with perf uh, we, I, we can put Byfield on the first line if we want, right? Uh, that would be ideal, I think. Perfetti on the second. We go line A there. That our first line, the plus three, the first line. You put him with Py Byfield and Perfetti. Oh, line A's got a feast. He has got a feast. So we go second line again. We'll go ahead and we're going to go winger. We're going to go find a second sniper here. 
All right, we're gonna look defense. We're gonna look Lindgren real quickly here, though. Before we do grab that last sniper, uh, we're talking defensive defenseman, which is what we needed. Hasn't not the greatest. Don't expect it. Uh, it fits in all defensive pairings. We're hoping. I think what we gotta do before we make a bigger trade with another sniper too is we gotta go out and we gotta assign a scout for the NHL. We haven't had any. We had a lot of amateurs because we haven't made trades. We didn't really have a reason for him. So we're going to try Lahuan in. Remember stealing him in the fifth round. If we can turn him into a defensive defenseman, a top four potential type of guy, it's a pretty good deal there for us, I think, there. And I don't think he's going anywhere. You know, he's 20 years old now. He still has that low elite potential, which is giving him some trade value, but it ain't going to give him enough to stay on his team, I think. Here we go. Send it. Okay, ejected a question. We look at a trade block. Okay, so they want a little bit more we might try the seventh i don't think a seventh is going to be enough well a trade block question rather trade, please consult our trade block needs you're quite far off okay so we're quite far off i don't want to trade away everything that's what's concerning here i don't care about the late picks i really don't we're at a six we're way too far off just for it's a defenseman we're giving you a luhanin luhanin Trading is not easy. We're just trying to build this team up on a defensive standpoint without tearing it apart. The challenge. Weber. Weber's not playing anymore. He's in the AHL. That's a guy we can move. Can we add Weber? We'll even... Yeah, we'll just go straight Weber. We'll go straight Weber and him. I didn't realize Weber had some trade value. That might help us out. We might even want to pick up a draft pick here. Why are the Rangers third and fourth? Just to see what they say. Yeah, Rangers will be over there. I hate when it says that. That's not my problem. Let them fix it. You know? <laughs> it's so difficult about it just, just give him a little taste here's the little one Kreider you're not getting paid you want to get rid of this guy so that'll not do the trick because he's not under contract of course you want to get rid of him we'll try that again you want to get rid of this guy not under contract this guy is under contract here you go we'll take him we'll take him for a good time what do you guys got Rangers trade accepted All right perfect all right perfect that's it that is it for the moves. I don't think we're going to jump into a ga the games yet. I, I want to hear you guys' opinions on the game of snipers and who should be traded. Who should be traded off this team? That is, that's the big question I'm struggling with here. I don't want to make too much of a commitment till then. Here's what we got. Byfield, Lafreniere, and Line A. That's staying. We go Shing time. We get rid of Shing time. We don't have a lot of trade back, but we have enough to probably pick up a decent sniper. I, I still think that's the lead candidate, but he just he actually fits on this team. A scheme fits beautiful. You have Perfetti, who is just killing it right now. How long can you afford to keep that nine million year contract? That's his question. What's Shing time getting paid? He's getting paid one million. He's going to get paid after this season. He's going to want dough, even though he doesn't fit on this team very well. And you have Savoie, who wants to be the first liner, could be the future first liner. Maybe not though. We'll see. And you have Pearson obviously uh he's gonna be off the books this season you have costison who's gonna be a first liner because he's a franchise player we'll see want to hear the thoughts which one of these guys needs to be walked out the door for now though let's actually well, for now though we're gonna check to see where oh we have too many of the young defensemen dumoulin's a defensive defenseman drysdale foreboard foreboard doesn't have to play he's a defensive defenseman he just doesn't fit there we really didn't need a defensive defenseman that badly. We needed an offensive defenseman to actually fit on this team. But that was that was fun, I guess. We got it taken care of regardless. Um, I think that's our issue. We'll see why in the heck did I think we needed that? How's he fitting for chemistry? Everywhere. Perfect. So it's still an upgrade, though. That's an upgrade from Forbort. We'll put you here. And maybe it's got to be Drysdale. It's got to go. We got to pick up an offensive defenseman. I don't know why... At the end of the day, it's not that big of a deal, but I don't know why I was thinking we need a defensive defenseman there. Oh, well, I think it's Drysdale. It's the Drysdale thing that's killing us right now. He's got to progress. We got to, we got to have what we have. That's where we're at, though. Let us know what you're thinking, fellas. As always, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.